Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Guys, welcome back. Tonight we have, yes, tonight guys, tonight, 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 we were going to post some packs. Those will be out in the morning for you guys today, uh, in this upcoming day. But tonight's video is about the Real Madrid fourth kit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tonight's video, guys, we'll be talking about Freeze 2. We have another Freeze squad coming, uh, and they have been leaked. They've actually been put into packs for like 10 to 15 minutes and something like kind of super unethical has been going around because they put them in packs by an accident and then they put 50Ks in the store and then apparently now they're not in packs. So the whole thing is kind of unethical, right? Because EA puts these cards in packs. They make everybody think they're in packs. They put 50K packs in the store. Then they take them out of packs. The pack probability is no longer there and the 50Ks are still in the store. So that's my thoughts on it real quick because guys, I always want to tell it how it is. That's a little bit unethical in my opinion because now people are thinking this is kind of false advertising I and mean, people think that there are freeze cards in packs. There's no freeze cards in packs. So a bit unethical if you ask me, but does it surprise me from something that EA would do? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do I, am I surprised by this at all? No, this is something EA would totally do. So anyways, boys, getting on into it a little bit more. Um, we have my good friend, Matt Foot Trading. Well, now there's a lot of leaks going around, but Matt is, is, is easy for me, right? I'm friends with him. And uh, he's been tweeting out some of the leaks tonight. Now, these were going around when we were streaming. So there have been five players that are leaked uh, for tomorrow's release. Now, these cards will probably go into packs at 1 p.m. I don't know how long they're going to go into packs, but they are some crazy cards. They are some really, really crazy cards. So the first one we have is Alan St. Maximin. And if we take a look at this, I mean, if you guys don't know already, this card had a full birthday card last year, very popular. And this Inform card is very, very popular as well. I mean, this same Maximin card looks like it's getting plus seven shooting. All right, he's going to get a minus one pace, but it's a central card, minus two dribbling, but he's going to get an upgrade of physical to 77. And, you know, it's a, it's a crazy looking card for that reason because this card is only getting a minus one on the pace and a minus two on the dribbling. So he's going to go from 95 pace only to 94 pace, and he's going to go from 90 dribbling with the 96 agility only to like 88 agility. So this card is a problem because he's French, uh, he's five-star skills, and he's got a four-star weak foot. And I, I think that some of these cards that are involved in tomorrow's promo are going to cause even a card like Kylian Mbappe to drop. I mean, I think that this type of same Maximin card with these potential statistics, um, and and this is, a, I mean, this is just a FIFA hype card, right? Like people know that Alan St. Maximin is just really good in FIFA. So for me, guys, this one is going to be crazy to see. And we'll probably see at Weekend League Rewards and this upcoming week, and we'll probably see a lot of French players doing well at rewards time this week, uh, at, at, on Thursday this week. So if you're looking for a little bit of an investment, I would kind of give you guys a little hint that I think the French players could be a move this week. I think we'll see French players do moderately well to, to very well with, with rising at rewards. So that's the first player that we've seen so far. Um, do I think he's going to be five-star, five-star? No. If he is, that's going to be broken. I think he's going to be five-star, four-star. Now, we have another player, uh, which is a crazy one. Striker Dembele, guys. Yes, boys. I think this is Striker Dembele. So, pretty crazy card. Um, Dembele is a guy that we've been wanting a special card for in FIFA for a little while this year. Um, these guys, in my opinion, are going to be full meta cards. Uh, this Dembele was an 83. Now going to be an 86. Um... Obviously, 92 pace, 86 dribbling, 77 shooting, 77 passing. Uh, 93 pace, 86 dribbling, 84 shooting, 77 passing. So the boost is a big shooting boost, right? The pace isn't much, but the thing with Dembele that you guys get is 5-star, five 5-star. Five so really, it's a pace boost and a shooting boost. That's really what it looks like. But when you think about it, I mean, if we take a look at Dembele's dribbling stats, 89 agility, 81 balance, decent, right? He really only needs the shooting boost. His passing is already decent. I don't know what his passing is on this card. It's about the same. Um, he really doesn't even need much else besides a shooting boost. So this card looks crazy. And that's fitting into what I just said is that I feel like Mbappe might drop tomorrow, guys, literally for this reason, because we have two players coming into this game, central French players with, you know, both that have five-star skills, which makes them super appealing. But I think people are going to really, really want to go for these cards. Um, so I think we will see a little bit of a dip off with some of those other cards. So also we have a CDM Chiellini. Somebody got this card, and so one of my viewers actually just packed him in a player pick. 
So we've got a CDM Chiellini coming tomorrow with 80 pace, 88 defending, and 85 physical, 74 dribbling, and a 76 passing. Now, what's interesting with Chiellini is that this is a link to Ronaldo, uh, which is interesting. It's a usable version of Chiellini as well. He's got a plus 14 dribbling, which means his dribbling, his agility and balance should be close to 70, if not more. Um, and his pace should be decent. He should have like some really nice pace stats. His defending is obviously superb. His physical is going to be very nice. They've probably given him a nice little stamina upgrade is why his physical has gone from 79 to 85. It's my best guess, but that's cool because it's a link to Ronaldo. I kind of like that. I think it's a nice squad building opportunity situation. Uh, then we also have center back. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Gosens, but this is a really cool looking card. Now, I wasn't sure if he was too small or not, but apparently this guy is six feet tall. Uh, six feet tall, apparently. Yes, six feet tall, guys. So this is kind of a crazy card if you ask me. 83 pace, 83 defending, 84 physical. Um, an Atalanta link, which is obviously... Super cool to have that now, and FIFA Atalanta is a really good team in real life at the moment, um, and have been for for a while now. But that's a very nice little German center back looking card. I mean, 81 dribbling means that also he's probably going to be able to have some really nice agility and balance. You're going to be talking agility in the mid 70s, balance pretty close to that mark as well. The passing looks pretty solid. So to me, this card looks really cool and really fun. So I was super excited uh, to see this card. This looks really nice. I'm very excited for this. Um, this should be pretty solid. So. You guys can bet yourself that that's going to be a nice card. And then the last card that we have is Alex Moreno, who is a La Liga right back. And positionally, this is very important because we don't really have uh, any amazing La Liga right backs. Semedo went to, obviously, the Premier League. And so, honestly, like the La Liga, we really have Trippier. We have Sergi Serge Roberto. We have Carvajal. But we don't really have anybody like that crazy. So, this is a really nice card to get for that league. 91 pace, 83 dribbling, 82 uh, defending. Obviously, real bet. This links to Fakir, 81 passing. And just a nice right back. I mean, not, obviously not a big boy. But, yeah, the highlight of this, guys, is that Dembele, St. Maximin. These are two really big cards that are going to be coming to the game tomorrow. Um, and these are going to shift a lot of people's teams, in my opinion. I think a lot of people will be moving away from that Mbappe type of player and and more closer clo closer towards um closer towards these Dembele's and these and these same Maximins. Although I think they're gonna be very expensive, man. I don't think there's a way uh that they're gonna be super cheap. Now it's gonna be interesting too because they're coming out on a Tuesday, which is really cool. Um you know I think a lot of people are gonna want to try these guys. I think what is really interesting to me is that when we take a look at the foot freeze player SBCs, we are also getting a French striker tomorrow. So this part is confusing me because these two guys are confirmed that they are going to be in packs. People have packed them tonight. They've got them out of the player picks. And so somehow, somehow, some way, we're also going to be getting a French striker um, as well. So as an SBC. So we're going to have three French strikers coming to FIFA Ultimate Team tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I don't really know what else to say besides that. It's going to be mad to see what that does really to the market guys i mean it's going to be it's going to be crazy i don't know if any link things are going to go up i know people are asking me do i think do they, like people are asking me do i think messi is going to go up as a result of um of like them booze i don't i don't think so i think that's a stretch um for me my trading plan i know a lot of you guys have been wondering like what i've been up to trading wise really guys i've been just today trading a lot of prime icons i've uh, been having a lot of fun trading these they're really really fun to trade so for the most part guys I, i've just been trading prime icons that's really what i've been doing um, and other than that, I mean, there's not much else to it, right? That's, that's mainly what we've been doing. Um, in terms of the transfer list, I just want to kind of, kind of show you guys what's up right now. Now I'm going to take the loss on Kuba real quick. We had these from the other day. I want to get out of these because I'm feeling like, uh, I'm feeling like Kubo is potentially going to be going down a lot more on rewards day. So I want to make sure I get out of those because I think that he will go lower on rewards day. Uh, obviously than his price right now, which is like 27, I think. So we're going to try to lower our lazies a little bit and get a couple of sales there. And then again, I talked about it, I think on my video, maybe this morning, this has been going very well. Um, and this goes a lot smoother, even on the weekends. So yes, if you guys are looking for an easy trading method to make some really easy coins, um, this is a great way to do it. Just get the chem styles and lazy list them. I've had these in my club, so it's not like I'm, I'm really buying these and listing them, but very, nonetheless, a very efficient way uh, to make coins currently. I built this team tonight. We just play with it on stream. If you guys are on YouTube, man, you guys are not watching the streams, man. Make sure you guys come and hang out in the streams. We stream every day around 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so it's in the nighttime for a lot of you guys in Europe. We're streaming daily. We'll probably have a stream in the morning tomorrow, guys, with these newer cards that are going to come out. And uh, we ran this team a little bit tonight just to mess around and have some fun. So yeah, boys, I mean, I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support in the channel, man. It's been really crazy. I'm actually really excited now, man, because I think that these are two really good players coming to the game. Uh, in, in terms of Dembele and St. Maximin. I'm, I know I'm for sure excited 
uh, to see what they can bring to the table to try them out. We'll have player reviews on both of them and then we'll have probably a pack upload going up in the morning for you guys and then we'll have a market kind of video related to these new cards and the new freeze team coming out uh, tomorrow afternoon. We'll take a look at them. We'll see what, what is offered tomorrow uh, for you guys on FIFA Ultimate Team. Hopefully you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Uh, I love you guys, man. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.